Marco. He's starting very, very fast with this guy. He hurt him with that left hook. Corey's trying to come back with uh, something uh, a little bit uh, on the powerful side, but nothing's working for him whatsoever. Looping right hand, left hook to the body, and down goes Corey. Having all kinds of problems with Jose Ramirez. Ramirez pummels him with the left hand, then the right hand, chops at his left ear, loads up the right hand, blasts him to the jaw. Hits him again, it's time to stop the fight, and the referee, Vic Draculich, mercifully steps in and stops the fight. Look at the power, hard body shot, he's already hurt. And the body shot is what hurt him really bad there. You see him skipping around. He's hurt right now, another body shot to the other side. Another body shot, three body shots in a row. Then that one there, just on the ribs, by the liver. Watch it again. This is the same thing, different angle here. See the body shot? And that's what hurt him. So he was actually dropped by the body shot. And now you'll see the stoppage. And at this stage, Vic Dragulich realizes that this is no opponent for Jose Ramirez with his pedigree. And he's getting pummeled from pillar to post. And from Comey. Comey's not just marching in. Good exchange in the center of the ring again. There's a right hand that scores a knockdown for R.C. Richard Comey. Oh, and Shaniam is unsteady like a floppy fish on his legs. Here comes the right hand. He's followed with the left hook. The first punch was the left hook. The right hand straight down the middle. Shaniyev never saw it coming. Great shot. Here it is again. Left hook. Left hook and right hand. Right on the money. He was able to land that shot. Shaniyev just standing straight back and trying to admire. Trying to admire something. And Comey just coming straight down the middle. Shaniyev looks here in the early going of round two. Oh! He goes down from a left hook right away. You got your answer, Joe. Six, seven, World eight, title on the line for the proud fighter from Ghana. Can he get it right here? Right hand comes in. Shaniyev going back. Trying to survive. Can't wrap up. Comey all over him and then finally ties up. Another straight right hand. Trying to go with the uppercut. Short left hand. This fight is over. Richard Comey has become a world champion. Here's Comey coming in. Lunge a little forward, but you see the left hook right there. He was off on the angle. As you see, Chaniev trying to get away. Steps off right in the position to be hit with this left hook. Right between the guard. The right hand was a little bit down when he received this right left hook. There it is. Boom. He never saw it coming. There it is again. Beautiful shot right on the button of Chania. And then this is the moment when Lawrence Cole said he had seen enough. And this is the stoppage. A big right hand came in. He did place that one uppercut to the body, and then the short left hand was the closer. This young man is dangerous. And I'm going to say it right now. I think this is a dangerous, dangerous fighter for Lomachenko. Because, because Comey can take it and he can dish it. Regresamos para el siguiente capítulo, señores, señores. Interesante lo que se viene. Mire usted, el sexto, por cierto, de esta pelea pactada 10. Título continental de las Américas en juego, el de las 140 libras, José Carlos Ramírez Quinda. Allá va José Carlos Ramírez que de a poco ha recuperado terreno frente a una caída injusta que marcaron por parte de los encargados de esto. Y nos vamos ya en breve a conversar con Miguel Díaz, quien está en la esquina, en la esquina de José Carlos Ramírez. Mi querido Miguel, eh, desde nuestra perspectiva, la caída nunca existió. ¡Hey! Vamos contigo en un segundo, querido Miguel. En la lona está Sol Volcano Quinda. Está el conteo por parte de Marcos Rosales y siente el golpeo, la fuerza, la dinamita por parte del muchacho de Avenal, California. Miguel Díaz, un golpe impresionante por parte de José Carlos. Bueno, fue lo que le estaba diciendo su entrenador, que le estaba diciendo 
que le mete la mano abajo, no la cabeza, abajo, abajo. Y cuidado, el alarido es enorme. Knockout, knockout, knockout. Esto es un manicomio. Acaba de noquear de manera técnica José Carlos Ramírez. Le... Eh, eh, Ramírez lo estaba mostrando. Ahí tenemos la combinación del momento justo donde conecta la mano izquierda al hígado que resiente rápidamente Quinda y se va a la lona para el conteo de protección del referee. Y como que no quería levantarse, sin embargo, creo que el corazón de Guerrero del africano lo mantuvo y lo, y lo volvió a, a poner a, en combate. Sin embargo, también como repito, la, la buena técnica y gran perspectiva de Ramírez lo obligó a emplearse a fondo. Me parece gran trabajo de Marcos Rosales. Ya no había ninguna resistencia, al menos contraataque por parte de Quinda. Eh, reclama ligeramente, pero, pero no tan convencido Israel. Ahora... Oh, right hand comes in. A one, two, and a little TNT from the Four, former champ. Five, six, seven, eight, okay? He's hurt. To me. Gloves. It's Half a minute well. to finish him. Yes, sir. He's hurt. Watch out. Here comes RC. Ooh. Big right hand. My, oh, my. That was brutal. Just stay there. Just stay there. Just Fight stay there. is That's over. It. Richard That's Comey it. is back. And it was just a matter of time before Comey landed this shot right here. That's a brutal shot, and it's a tough shot to recover from even when you're fresh, much less when you've been taking a beating the last two or three rounds. Caught him on the side of the ear, and he was hurt. We knew it was going to end ugly if another big shot landed. The big shot did land, and that was the result. Here we see it again. Boom. That's it. Fight over. You know, you see the physical presence of a guy like Richard Comey. You know, and you see the power in the hands as well. Used to be out there farming, picking vegetables in the fields. He is one with his people, raises awareness about drought issues. He works with the California Latino Water Coalition. So he'll, he'll put 10, 15,000 people in his local arena there every time out. Not only that, but going from Freddie Rhodes to Robert Garcia, just getting the best of both worlds. Hard hook by Ramirez. Hooker looks hurt. Hooker stays. Hooker is bad. It's over. That fast. It's over. Jose Ramirez has ended it. A sudden burst, and it stopped. Let's go back to where it started, Sergio. I believe it was a left hook. There it is right there. Caught Hooker backing up, which is the last thing you want to do if you have the advantage in size. He was out on his feet. I think the referee did exactly what he needed to do. That's a perfect call by referee Mark Nelson stopping this fight. And Nelson had to act immediately. Now he saw the head snapping back. He saw Hooker standing back by the ropes. But how about closing the show? Look at Ramirez. Just accelerate. And Mark Nelson jumps in. It felt sudden. The crowd was fairly upset until they saw the condition Hooker was in a second after that stoppage. No, I think it was a brilliant stoppage. Hooker was out on his feet and he was getting hit with clean shots. He was out right there, Brian. Yep. Nelson with an outstanding job. Got right in. And it's not easy to do that when it's such a competitive fight. But he recognized as soon as the neck goes slack, you've got to get in. Mark Nelson did that. Just a brilliant, brilliant performance by Ramirez and a great stoppage by the referee, not letting Maurice Hooker take more punishment. Just an amazing unification here. Action packed through the whole fight, going to war, pressuring on the ropes, and then Hooker with hard hooks, landed three big hooks in round five, but then 